Jay, Fernanda Nacimiento Orchids and Succulents, and myself. We are going to be updating on five of the orchids that we have in common. Not necessarily a care collab, but welcome. And if you see any of the orchids in this video and you have them, both of us would like to do like a shout out, recruiting kind of video update as well as saying please let us know in the respective comment sections if you have any of the orchids that we are updating on today so that we can then start to split them away from our general update videos and make care collabs about them. Thank you very much for joining me on my update with the plant swap I did with Fernanda Nascimento Orchids and Succulents a while ago and we are looking at Lelia Pacavium in bloom thought this was a very nice way to open up welcoming everybody to this update this is a first time bloomer for me and she has now been open for about eight days I would guess about eight days and finally is developing a fragrance nothing hip nothing exotic nothing exciting it's a rose fragrance but not intense it's very very light okay being a first time bloomer it is possible that that is also part of the reason why she's not as fragrant and maybe when she gets more mature the next blooming maybe she will be much more fragrant the orchid as such is doing really well I do have this one lead which is in bloom that we just saw and then I've got another second growth coming around the back here which is also a beautifully sized growth this previous growth did not bloom for me it didn't even produce a sheath so let's see if now the maturity of the orchid has reached the second lead and let's hope that we will get some blooms from her in the maturity cycle of this second growth here so Lelia Pacavia I would say first time bloomer she's doing well Mirva Kofila Thompsoniana or, as I bought her, Schomburgia Tomsoniana. I love this orchid. It has never bloomed for me, but just its growing habit. Absolutely love it. Gets a lot of light, as you can see by the colorings of the pseudobulb. It's on the top shelf of my south-facing blooming alley, where it gets a lot of direct sun, because the curtain doesn't quite cover that part. But that's okay. This one can handle it. After the division last year, it has been recovering and it's been chucking out roots going into the pot again. So I'm really pleased it's just chugging along. My next three growths from having divided it are only half the size, if that, of its previous growth that I had a couple of years ago. So we are still working on getting this orchid back to size, back to form. I'm hoping that this one growth down here will kickstart that for me. There's another growth somewhere else over here so we've got two more opportunities to get it right but yeah this one definitely it can handle a lot of light and I'm really pleased that it recovered from the division really well I've not had an issue except of course the growth coming out a little bit shorter than what it previously was so pumping this one full of some fertilizer now and make sure that the next growth exceed the pot and then we can up pot her again. Mirmirko Caplia Memoria Louise Books Purple, quite a mouthful. High expectations for this one with a name like that. I got this from Fernanda. Let me double check my tag if I can get it out. September of 2020. And she's doing really good. I'm a little bit disappointed that I have only two new growths coming. I know that sounds greedy, but this orchid had five eyes. Huh. I was expecting a minimum of three growths at least, but the first one is doing really well. This growth is the one that's taking the lead full of happy sap, you. <laughs> and then there's another itty bitty little one just tucked away down in there. And it was actually very, very busy over the winter months in producing roots. Lives on the east side 
of my patio, where it is behind a white curtain, gets a lot of bright, bright light. No direct sun for the time being. I want to make sure that it gets strong and healthy before I start to expose it to something. Don't want to be burning the gorgeous leaves that I got it sent with, thanks to Fernanda. But yeah, very, very happy with this. Got lots of roots, and as I'm looking now, there's even more going into the pot now from the largest growth. Great stuff, that's amazing. Here's Cattleya holdenii, <laughs> holding a root. <laughs> Check this thing out. I did snap it over the winter while it was indoors. It decided to branch. <laughs> And now that it's outdoors, I'm just letting it grow for as long as it wants to. And eventually I may have to do something about it because I cannot sustain this route to the extent that where it wants to go. But for now, it's good fun. I'm trying to do my best just to keep it intact. Cattley Holdenii for me has never been a root growing issue at all. On the contrary, it is super generous in its root production. It has never bloomed for me, so I'm sorry. I can't show you any pictures. If you can see the pictures of the tag back here, sort of a cerula orchid, I can't get the label out. <laughs> After one year of having her in this pot, she is already pot bound again, but I'm not going to disturb her. I'm going to let her grow another new growth. And if she hasn't bloomed by then, then we'll have to see what I need to do because right now she's in what I call like the Southwest part of my blooming alley in the corner right by the trellis where she gets a lot of bright shade, occasional direct sun, depending on how the curtain blows. So I am actually hoping for a new growth coming. This was the growth she produced after the division last year. So it's very stunted, but never mind. The roots tell a story. <laughs> I'll go with the roots for the time being. The rest will take care of itself. Let's go and see on a little walkabout and check out what Holcoglossum kimberlianum is doing. This is my Angrequoi deep south corner, protected from bright sun. That doesn't include Kimmy over there, as you can see. Very, very Bordeaux leaves. This is only in the afternoon. She gets full sun for, <laughs> during this time of year, eight hours of the day. And only when the sun starts to move across does she get the protection of the umbrella? But other than that, from morning until about 5 p.m., she's in full sun. Seems to be holding on okay. After my copper debacle on the root front, let me show you. The root tips that were not touched by the copper are still doing great. And there's another one on the back side of the orchid. I can't turn her around right now, but on the back side, and it's crawling up and around as well. So. We have some protected root tips. You see that root right there that is growing through the choya log? Well, on the other side, it's a gorgeous root tip. I have root tips to enjoy, yay. But this one hasn't bloomed for me either yet. I'm hoping, judging by the size of the thing, this will be the year that it will spike at some point in fall, according to Julian S but I've got three leads. I only had one lead when I bought it. The one lead went to Fernando and where I cut it, it's growing another little side shoot. So eventually the first main lead will become a tall branch as well. All the other leads have grown since it's been with me. Amazing. I love this orchid, even if it doesn't bloom. I mean, blooms would be nice, but it's funky growth the leaves, the color. Look at how that stem is like a zigzag. Amazing. So yeah, I still have some root tips to enjoy after my copper debacle. Orchoglossum kimberlianum. It'd be nice if you could bloom for me. Can you even see the orchid with the background? <laughs> blending in, blending in. I hope that you enjoyed this quick spin around of the orchids that we both have in common. We have others in common, but they are already allocated to Care Collabs. So may I just remind you once again, if you have any of the orchids that we are showing today, we would love to split them up and divide the group and put them on the Care Collab database. So let us know in the comments below 
if you would like to join in on a care collab. Meanwhile, say thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little update. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Please stay safe. And from my Pakavia and myself, bye. <music>